Welcome to a new video. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can hide the port number in the Oracle Apex or how you can replace the ORDS with your custom name in the Oracle Apex. So I have prepared here something. This is my virtual machine. In this virtual machine, I am running um, or the Oracle Apex is currently running here over the ORDS. And you can see we have here the local host. Here is the port number and here is the ORDS service. And in this video, I will explain you how you can hide the port number and open directly, for example, here the local host. And this was the ORDS and I have replaced it with the Apex node. And how to do this, I will explain you. And you can also see um, I have here the same Oracle Apex. It's running uh, over the Tomcat and I can also have another name. For example, this is the Apex node. And here I running over the your company name. Also, for example, if I open here, the application and I um, open different pages then you can see every time here I'm here in the your company name URL and there is also no port and if I also go back here to the Apex node and I um, switch here from the application 100 to 101 then you will see here I'm also in the same Apex node URL and there is no port and how to do this I will explain you step by step in this video so let's get started First of all, I will show you here, this is the virtual machine where Oracle Apex is running and here I have prepared, you can see, um, here is the patch file. If I open this patch file, it navigates to the CORDS and run this command to start the Oracle Apex. So I make it a double click and then the ORDS is starting. I will only demonstrate this if you have already one existing Oracle Apex um, installation which is running over the ORDS service then you have to um, move this with the Tomcat or you have to make it with the NGNX. Um, in, the, in the future I will also make a new video with, um, with the NGNX manager but in this video I will show you how you can remove or how you can hide the port number and replace the ORDS over the Tomcat and next time we'll show you in the another video how to make this also. So as you can see now here the ORDS is running and if I uh, write here local host and then port number 8080 I think you see also here somewhere it was the port 8080 here you can see then I press here enter then you can see the Oracle Apex is now running here over the ORDS and with the port 8080. And now I close this and will start this over the example, the Tomcat. So I open the example here over this shortcut. And now you can see here is the Tomcat. But before I start it, what we want is um, the, that we don't have this port number. So if I go here on the config and server XML, then you can see a little bit below directly on the first position where is the connector port and then you can see here is this port it means if i run here over the url for example localhost and then with the port 8181 and press enter and if my tomcat is started then i will see here in the google chrome um, the, the tomcat page so but what we are doing is here i replace the port 8181 to 80 and also here i will um, replace this one with the 443 so this is a redirect port and here my main port is the 80 so after i have changed only these two value then i click here on the file and click here on the save button and after it's saved i can close this so now if i uh, yeah start this tomcat then you can see here in the background a console a hidden console is also opened automatically and yeah it will run here the oracle app uh, it will first run the tomcat so if i write here now port 8181 and refresh you will see nothing happening because we changed already the port but if i write here now the port 80 and then make enter then you will see that um, i am coming here to the tomcat yes and the port is hidden the reason is if we set every time or if we open port 80 then it will be hide or yeah it will be hide because this is like a standard standard port so if i compare here on the first tab you can see here um, this was uh, 
this Oracle Apex was started with the ORDS and we compare the URL. So you can see we have here the local host and on the same side we have also here on the Tomcat, Apache Tomcat, the local host. The second thing was, was the port number. Now you can see we hide the port number. And then if uh, on the ORDS service side we need every time this ORDS, but here on the over the Tomcat now, Tomcat, now we want to set our default or our own custom name. So to do this, what we have to do is to open here the ORDS folder. And from here, we have to copy this ORDS.war file and also the images. But I have uh, showed all of this in one another video and I will put also this video link in the description so you can easily do it. And we need here we need uh, to copy the ORDS.var file and also the images to the Tomcat folder. So my Tomcat is installed here on the C drive in XAMPP. So then after XAMPP is open, I put here, I am here in the XAMPP folder. I have to search for the Tomcat folder, which is here. I open this and then I have to check here where is the web apps folder, then I have to open. Now you can see here is the Apex, uh, Apex Nord.var and Apex folder because in my last video I already created this. Um, yeah, but here if you want, uh, for example, if I write here now Apex Node and make here enter, then you can see Oracle Apex is now opening without any port and also with my custom name or uh, here any application. So for example, if I'm logged in here and run an application, and then you will see that there is no port and also no ORDS. And I'm now directly perfect with a very good URL link here in the application. But in this video, yeah, my, tar my target was to show you if, if you want also your own custom name, what you have to do is easily copy this to uh, this web apps folder and also the images. And after you have copied the images to this folder, then you have to rename this in the I as like here. So, I will do it, but to do this, first I have to close the Tomcat server, so I have closed this, and then you can also see here the Tomcat is closed. So if I open only the local host here in the new page, then you can see nothing happening because the local, the Tomcat is not started. So what we have to do is now we copy the ORDS here in the web, web apps folder and write here, for example, your, com your company name, and then I make enter. So that's it. For example, if I now start the Tomcat, then be careful. You will see here a new folder, which will be automatically created with the name, your company name. So let's see. So I press here on the start button. You see here in the back and a hidden console is also open. The Tomcat is started. It will um, check, okay, if there is any new web apps, also a new file. If yes, it will find it and we'll create here a new folder. And here is it, you can see your company name. This is a new folder is automatically here generated. So what means, it means if I now run this one on the local host, if I make here refresh, then you will see the Apache Tomcat. And now if I write here, your, okay, your company name, then I make here enter, then you will see Oracle Apex is now running here over the custom name. So I can also show you if I now open a new application, it will also run here over this new, also over your company name is now running this here. I refresh it multiple times and because of we have here also um, Apex node, it means if, if uh, I refresh this, this one, then it will also works you can see if i make it also refresh or if i go here in the apex node and then i will switch here from um, to the different pages then you can see also apex node in the url will work and also if i uh, your company name if i switch or if i um, open here different pages on every workspace it will works so to summarize in this video you have uh, learn if you have already running any Oracle Apex application which is running over any ports or with this ORDS how you can hide the port and how you can also replace this ORDS name with your custom name this was only one method um, 
to do this with the Tomcat. There is also one another solution how to do it with the NGNX manager. Yeah, and I will also explain this in the future in a new tutorial. So I hope now you are able also to do this. You will also find the link in the video description to the blog post so you can also read there some information. And that's all in this video. Thanks for watching.